एवरी वन नवरीज आई एम अपलोडिंग सम वीडियोज रिगार्डिंग सर्विस क्वालिटी मैनेजमेंट लिटिल डिविएशन फ्रॉम नेट जे आर एफ टॉपिक्स बट डेफिनेटली यूजफुल फॉर सर्विस मार्केटिंग स्पेशली फॉर एम बी ए स्टूडेंट्स एंड दो सू आर वर्किंग इन सर्विस सेक्टर एंड फॉर दोज पीपल्स हू सीक्स ए प्रोफेशनल नॉलेज रिगार्डिंग सर्विस क्वालिटी मैनेजमेंट कॉन्सेप्ट Definitely, I will come back to all subjects. But today, uh, in this video, I am going to talk about quality function deployment. Previous video, we had a discussion on service blueprinting. In addition to service blueprinting, there is another approach uh, that can be used to develop service architecture. That is QFD. That is quality function development. That is from research. through production design and development to manufacture distribution installation and marketing sales and services this qfd that is quality function deployment it has more application in manufacturing than services this concept is first developed in japan in the late 1960s then it is brought to the us in the early 1980s So this concept gained its popularity as a result of numerous successes in the automotive industry. We know quality is a measure of customer satisfaction with a product or a service. So why this QFD that is quality function development? Here company is able to bring products into market that customers actually want because they are listening to customers preference at the beginning of the design process that is service design process and then they mandating or uh, making it compulsory that these needs and desires are met throughout every aspect of design and development of that service or product okay so qfd is a flexible and comprehensive decision making technique used in product or service development This QFD is implemented via what is known as the House of Quality, which links customer requirements to design characteristics of the product or service. These are then linked to internal processes such as product planning, process planning, production planning, and parts deployment. So the House of Quality is a diagrammatic representation of the service. its attributes the customers requirements and the company's capabilities okay then the resulting house of service quality comprises three distinct section first one customer quality criteria that is what customers perceive second is service company facets that is how these criteria are created by the firm and third one is the relationship grid that is how the two are related so this matrix is extended um, that is we have to include a quantitative information so uh, so the relative importance of relationship among different functions of the firm can be highlighted here i am giving an example of qfd apply to village volvo say volvo service garage to create a house of service quality See this figure, which represents the house of service quality for Village Volvo. First one, you can see customer expectation on the far left of the house are listed the customers' expectations of Village Volvo's customer service. In this case, the customer expectations correspond to the five service quality dimensions. Okay, that is reliability, responsiveness, assurance, empathy, and tangibles. next thing you can see in the house of service quality for village volvo is importance of expectation that is you can see next to the each expectation that is on the chimney of the house see there here we can list the importance of that particular attribute to customers on a scale from 1 to 9 with 9 being the most important so these importance weights are determined by customers research third one is controllable elements of service the columns of the house represent the elements of service that the company has control over such as training capacity equipment attitude and information fourth aspect is relationship among elements that is the relationship among the elements of service are shown in the roof of the house then the relationship among elements can be strong medium or weak for example the relationship between training and attitude is strong 
whereas the relationship between training and capacity is weak okay next is association between expectations and service element see in the body of the matrix are listed numbers which represents the strength of the relationship between each expectation and the related service element so the numbers reflect how various elements affect the company's ability to satisfy the particular customer expectation okay so the numbers reflect actually uh, from the service team perspective okay that is from the service team's perspective we are showing how various elements affect the company's ability to satisfy the particular customer expectation okay so here a zero suggest no effect whereas a nine suggest a very strong effect clear next is overall importance of service elements for meeting customer expectation that is the weighted score on the floor of the house see the weighted score on the floor of the house that represents the total points for each element which is calculated by multiplying the important weights by the element association ratings and adding all of the scores for each element together for example training take training so 9 into 8 plus 7 into 3 plus 6 into 5 plus 4 into 0 plus 2 into 2 that's equal to 127 see the weighted score is 127 right these scores should be treated relatively however and not as absolutes because um, they are determined based on some subjectivity and judgment next is difficulty rankings uh, see the basement of the house uh, in the basement of the house are listed the difficulty rankings assigned to each element in terms of how difficult it would be to make improvements in that element with the ranking of 1 being the most difficult here corresponding to capacity column we can see one next is competitive assessment that is two areas of the house suggest some comparisons of village volvo with the competing volvo dealership so on the right are shown comparisons of the two on the dimensions of service quality just above the floor of the house are shown relative ratings comparing village volvo with the village dealership on the elements of service okay then here our house of service quality is completed so this figure can be used to begin to make preliminary service design decision based on the relative importance of various attributes to customers village volvo's relative competitive position the weighting of the elements in terms of their contribution overall to customer satisfaction and the difficulty of implementing change in this case it would appear that training would be a good investment because first thing is it has the strongest weight second thing is it is rated relatively weak with respect to competition and third one it is relatively is less difficult to change i'm giving two more examples for your better understanding Uh, this is a house of service quality for a hotel you just go through it uh, on the far left of the house uh, there is service attributes and next to the service attributes column you can see the relative importance of compliance and next uh, the columns of the house that represents the operation characteristics and you can see the relationship uh, that is shown in the roof of the house and um, the body of matrix uh, that represents the strength of relationship between service attributes and operational characteristics like this you can evaluate the house of uh, service quality okay again this is a house of service quality for um, a hospital here you can see you know, the customer requirements or wants and uh, quality characteristics okay that is the functional requirements we just go through this various elements okay Uh, in a nutshell we can say uh, quality function deployment is a method to transform qualitative user demands into quantitative parameters or uh, it's a systematic method to help identify customers needs for designing a product or service that is we defining customer needs or requirements and translating them into specific plans to produce products to meet those needs So there will be many stated and unstated customer needs or requirements. 
the stated or unstated customer needs or requirements uh, we can call it as voice of the customer so this voice of the customer is captured in a variety of ways that is through direct discussion interview surveys focus groups uh, observation field reports okay so uh, this uh, understanding of the customer needs is then summarized in a product planning matrix or house of quality and then these matrices are used to translate higher level needs into lower level that is product requirements or technical characteristics to satisfy these needs okay that's all about quality function deployment thanks for watching